Hey everyone, my name is Eleni Alman. Thanks for joining in again this week. And today I want to teach you guys how to use Adobe Illustrator to create Instagram posts. Okay, so once you open your Adobe Illustrator program, this is kind of what you see. Here are the other things that I've been working on recently. Uh, so you're gonna go up here, create new. load here so when it comes to Instagram typically you're gonna see that square sizing which is 1080 by 1080 and then you'll just say it's okay you want artboard create uh, so once you're in this mode then you can just kind of start creating it right um, so let's just say you want to do a quote and I just kind of want to add a little bit to the side just to make it a little more visually appealing um, let's just say I want it to be that color and then I'm going to add just some quotation marks. So I'm going to use Playfair Display. Bold. So I have that there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna make this bigger. You hold shift and then uh, use all your buttons and everything that'll keep the sizing right um, and I want it to be this color as well so instead of having kind of this line under here and everything like that I usually convert this into a shape and so I will right click and click create outlines so this just turned it into a shape it's no longer text I'll just put it like this kind of want it off the page a little bit just for again added visual effect So I'm going to take this here and I'm going to make a little box. Again, I said I'm using Playfair Display, so I will use that and then I will type out whatever I need to. I'm just going to say 64. So everything is designed, therefore design is everything cool so now that I have that I am going to just go ahead and make this a different color and after that I want to put you know who the quote is by so I'm gonna take the text tool uh, once again and it's by myself And obviously, I don't want it to be the same, you know, as this too. It kind of feels like it's part of the quote. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put it in that. I'm going to use, let's just do railway as the typeface. And make it a little bit smaller. Don't want it too crazy. And then I'm actually gonna make this a bit smaller too. It looks a bit large. Okay, and so, you know, spacing's off a little bit, but you guys see how you can make this. So once you're done with this, you're gonna go up to File, and then you're gonna click Export, Export As, and then title it whatever you want, and you're gonna go down to JPEG, and use Artboard. So you're gonna click Use Artboard because as you see, a little bit of this is cut off. So you wanna make sure that using the artboard will make sure that it's only what is on the artboard and it won't go off the screen as well. So you will click Export. And then on your options here, you'll see RGB, CMYK, grayscale. So since we're working just with a screen, we're gonna do RGB. And then quality, I like to have the maximum quality. Uh, for resolution, because it is screen, again, you only need 72 PPI, and you can click OK. And there you have it. Honestly, that's kind of all you have to do. Um, another thing that I like to do is go over here to Artboards, and I would like to create a couple more. Actually, let's just do six of them. So I can come down here to this tool. It's the Rearrange All Artboards. And if I make, so columns are the up and down, right? So I would like to make three columns and the spacing, let's just do, 
I don't know, let's just do 40 pixels in between. Click OK. And now this is what it looks like. So as you can see, this can be really beneficial when you're doing Instagram posts because you can almost see what the layout is going to look like right away. Um, if you just want to do an image, that's also super easy. I'll show you guys that. Let's just say I want to use this image. I'll make some kind of post about it. So I just want to have probably, I don't know. Let's just say that's going to be good enough for me. That's kind of how I want it to look. So I'm going to come over here to the shapes. If you click, you can uh, decide how big you want it. You can just click and drag it, but I like to make sure it's exact. So you're going to do 1080 by 1080. Click OK. And so what I'll do then is click V, which goes back to your select tool. And I will put this over. Make sure that the shape is over the image that you want to essentially cut. So we're going to do this select both of them and you're going to right click and click make clipping mask and then it clips it to that shape and there you have it if you guys have any questions let me know below and if you have any other ideas of things that you'd like to see in illustrator or other adobe products just let me know hope this helped thanks mm -hmm.